In today's video, I'm going to show you how to auto-generate IDs with these methods here in Google Sheets. So if you're working on some data and you have to generate your own ID for that spreadsheet, here are some of the ways on how you can do it. So the first way you can do it would be with your row function with some added text before it. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to start with our equal sign. In quotations would be my text. There we go. That's ID dash. And then close that off. With the ampersand, that will combine this text with our row function. Now your row function returns the number of row in which you are in. So right now we have row number two. Do the cell reference of A2 until A11. There you go. And add our array formula by pressing your control shift and enter keys. There you have it. If I press enter, I don't have to drag the formula down. It will fill in the rest of my data for me. Now, if I wanted to add more text, let's say some zeros before that too, I can edit the text right here. So ID dash, let's add two zeros right there, press enter. And again, it will fill in the rest of my data automatically. So that's your first method. We have our array formula, our text and our row function. Let's try this with a sequence function. So instead of the row, I'm just going to remove that and put in sequence. There we have it. We are going to enter the number of rows. So that's 10 rows right there, comma. Our columns would be just one. Our start, let's say you want to start with the number 100. And our step would be just one, one step ahead. So if we press enter this time, you have successfully again generated these IDs right here. If you don't want those extra zeros, you can remove that, press enter, and there you have it. If you want the step to be bigger, let's say five, press enter. Now we have 100, 105, 110. Again, that is totally up to you. If you wanna start with a thousand and the step up would be 50, press enter. And that is what it's going to look like. And there you have it. So two easy ways on how you can do this. You can either use your row function or your sequence function in case with your array formula and some added text. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial. Make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos and I will see you in the next one.